Yo, what's up guys? AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. Uh, in the battle of today, uh, I am playing against someone who is usually high ranked on the ladder. I guess he just started playing the season, um, but he's playing a really strange Sun team uh, with a Tangroth, uh, which has the Chlorophyll ability. And yeah, I'm using Specs High Dragon uh, in this one. And at a certain point, I got too excited, too excited for getting... Uh, <laughs> I just real the moment I switched in Hydra Dragon, I realized what Tangrowth can do, and yeah, it's something that cost me a lot. So I won't spoil too much. Uh, you guys can watch the battle, but if you are interested in the team I'm using, you can check it out on Patreon. There's a poker paste on Patreon link in the description. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, without further ado, guys, let's hop right into the video. I was going to try to win with Infernape, considering that my means, if Scar Mage, I would knock him out, but. Warfield? What's going on here? Melikos. Isn't he high, usually high ranking? But that didn't matter, Stom. What are we gonna do? Yeah. Do I need anything on this? I can just toxic him. As he clicks rocks, doesn't really matter. And. I'm not sure if I should go gold bed here. I think we should just remove the sun uh, immediately. Because uh, I can definitely see him going into guard jump or something. Um, if I remove this, at least if I remove the sun, then I can deal with Venusaur with my dragon, uh, which he's pretty weak too, gotta say, if I can get up hazards. He clicks Yawn, which is still pretty good for me. pretty decent I can double back into Shao in case he goes Garchomp uh, which I have no clue no clue what he's going to do to me but yeah the Torkoal is really low and he won't get any recovery from his teammates either so he definitely wants to keep that so Garchomp does end up coming in Queen of Pain so we can figure out if this is Rocky Helmet uh, by just clicking new turn 23, that's not much. It's not much. I'm not live orb though, so maybe that's normal. Guard jump is pretty bulky, I gotta say, so. Um, U turn. Yeah, it's just normal damage. So this is just a regular uh, guard jump. I'm gonna bring in the Suicune in case this is banded. Don't wanna bring in Golbat on a Dragon Claw like that. Goes for sub. And I can just roar him out there. So he just taking more chip on himself. I can easily roar him here as he clicks Earthquake. Don't want to be dealing with that, I guess. And we just roar him. Goes into Jellicent, which is fine here. I am going to rest here, uh, considering that he doesn't really do anything to me. I can rest, maybe 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 tries. Um, maybe he's gonna try um, statusing me. Big Shadow Ball instead, which is fine as well. That'll drop my Spit Death, which is extremely annoying. Now I cannot really stay in, I guess. Um, gonna go hard high dragon there, and just fire off a dragon uh, dark pulse. He goes Venusaur. Um, we're just gonna click Draco Meteor here, here on the Porygon, most likely coming in. Force him to recover because this is doing a lot. He's specially defensive. I can go Golbat. 
on the healing move. He's using Trace, I believe. Oh, special. Harshly fell. Was he using Trace? A meteor. That matters. A toxic this, that's gonna be really good. And taking it, I don't have natural cure or anything, so it discharges me. Try attempting to defog here. Because if I lose and he paralyzes me, it's gonna be extremely annoying. So if he paralyzes me here, um I can still you I still be faster than Torkoal. And he might just go for Ice Beam or something. But I can go into Tar. So I only need Tar to remove the sand. Um, but I need to keep Golbat alive as an earthquake immunity into um, the Garchomp. Yeah, and I can use Golbat here. As he goes Tangrowth, be it, I guess. I don't know if this is going to be physical Tangrowth, though. The thing is really bulky. I guess weakening my Tangrowth that much didn't power ice. Hmm. Leftovers, that's HP Ice, you get Drain, I guess. Circle. Wait, he's really low. I can go into this. I don't know if he has Brick Break or something, though. Damn. Yeah. I, I could have figured it was offensive, but now I'm going to Dark Pulse him. Breaking through the Porygon. 28. That can still utilize this guy. Maybe we can get a we can get a flinch here. He's gonna be low anyway from us. It's my own sandstorm that's actually harming me here. But since I have the um, uh, Sandstorm going, assuming he's going to recover again. Yeah, that was really bad of me uh, switching into Focus Blast. And I'm going to Stealth Rocket. I shouldn't die to Ice Beam. And then I should be able to get off a Spike as well. I don't think U-turn is going to be enough to knock him out from there. So I do need something that does threaten him. We're going to this, I guess. Just need to get things in that pressure the Torkoal. Assuming Garchomp comes in now. Because he cannot go Tor- He can go Torkoal first, but then I get a Dark Pulse kill. Um...
We get that, I guess. Black Sludge, that's annoying. Is he Synthesis too? That's really bulky. Goes into Jellison, so at least Venusaur comes in on the hazards. Currently disabled. If I use Crunch, or is it better to heal Golbat? Might be better to heal Golbat. And I at least have an answer for just Tangrowth. I have Toxic on this too, so I don't know if he wants to really play around with this. I definitely see a Rapid Spin uh, coming his way, uh, coming my way. Depends if he clicks rocks, but I think he should rapid spin anyway against me. If he clicks rocks, my hazard will, will stay up and then I kill Venusaur as well. So I think it's better to just get this kill and then win the game with uh, me and Shao plus Golbat. Do this. And anything on my team will basically kill him, so in that sense, it's my better might be better to just well if I pursue him then he doesn't get to use chlorophyll. Do we just pursue here? Then Mian Shao should be decent into him as well, and as long as I have gold bed, I can do better into um, the other guy. Unless he has sunny day on something, I guess. I crunch into him. He's gonna use sub if I go into Suicune. I think it's better to just uh, sec this. Because I think I can win this game with gold, but once I roost up, I just need to make sure. I just need to make sure that I have the tools necessary to win there. So we're just going to close combat here. I don't care if he goes into, into the Jellicent there. Because unless he has Ice Beam, he's not gonna, he's not going to kill me. This Roost stop. even if he burns me, I think it's okay. This we're using Heat Wave anyway. Just don't drop my Spit Death again. Oh. So we're just gonna Roost there a few times. I have Heat Wave versus Venusaur. Since the. Unless he has Sunny Day on something, uh, that could be really, really annoying. It does burn me, but I uh, okay, do. What can you do? He used Shadow Ball over Hex, so in that sense, you can use that. Yeah, me switching in Hydreigon on Focus Blast kind of cost me because Hydreigon would have been so strong against him. And he switches into Finsaur, Poison Ivy. Um, Heatwave here.
Maybe he's gonna try to get a cursed body with Jellicent. Yeah, I figured. Oh, whatever. I missed. And I do get the Toxic, so now I can actually win this game with Suicune as well. Uh, we're just gonna roost up and then I'm gonna use Suicune to wake up on this. So that's pretty good for us. And then I'll just roost once more and then we go Suicune. Because I'm still going to need Tengro uh, Golbat for the Tengroth. Doesn't have Regenerator. But if I call mine up, I could technically do a lot as well. With my Suicune. But I do need to beat Venusaur first. That's what we're going to bring in now. He's going for Shadow Ball. Another spit death drop. Are you kidding me, bro? That it is what it is. Get in this. There's the Venusaur. The U turn. Back into him. Now we're just trying to wake up with this monster. No, is Venusaur still alive? Gonna make this play again. I predicted the spadep drop there. And now we just get to U-turn again. And basically get him to the point where he has to click recover versus me. Basically what I'm aiming for. Because if he's most likely going to attack me into me here. Actually, I can actually keep this up. It's with the poison uh, doing so much to him. Let's get the stone edge on this guy. So I can finally start spamming close combat against him. I can go straight into Golbat versus the Garchomp. Or you go into this and I go into you. This guy uh, is normally high on the ladder as well, but gotta do. I just messed up with my high dragon. Like if I, I should obviously Tangro is gonna be offensive, and I have Tyranitarian, which he can use a fighting move against. 
But at this point, I feel like Golbat should win. There's no there's no um, weather ball to abuse here. He already revealed Sludge Bomb, so it's most likely not Hidden Power Ice. But if I'm correct, I can just Roost there. As he goes Guard Chomp, and I can get off my uh, I can get off my Toxic on him. It's Toxic goes through Substitute. If I have him poisoned, then uh, things are going to look much better for me. Because I, I don't need Suicune against the other two. But now that I got him poisoned, he's never going to heal. He's going to take 12. He's not going to kill me from this amount. Just don't let him hit my goal bet there. Then he has to click it again, uh, which is fine. Gonna take a bunch to the point where I can use Mian Chao. And honestly, I can just go into this. And we don't need to predict anything here. We can just close combat into him. Goes into Venusaur, which is still going to take a lot, I think. Looking like a 2 hit KO. That's pretty cool. Clicking it again. Venusaur is gone, and now we just click Toxic on the Tangrowth. That should be it then. Definitely. I will roost there though, uh, just because I will negate his damage and if he goes into Garchomp to absorb the Toxic, I won't be screwed over. And unboosted, there's, I, I'm better off going for Heat Wave. Because um, he missed. But if he did boost or something, um, I got the chip there. And then I can sec me and show. And he died anyway. So now we just click Toxic on it. Tengro, this is such an annoying. It was so an, such an annoying game because I messed up with my Hydreigon. Hydreigon would have completely destroyed him. But I'm always better off playing it safe here um, by using my last roost. Reducing his hidden power ice damage. I'm going to Shao. He's still full HP anyway and he decides to forfeit. And we win this game. Such a long game. I'm sorry, guys. Such a long recording. The last one was annoying. Yeah, I know that. I know that guy. He's usually really high up on the ladder as well. But yeah, I really messed up with my eye dragon, like switching it into a focus blast. Like, it would be. I just realized at the moment I switched it in. <laughs> like he could, because he has fight, fighting coverage on his teams. <laughs> and switching that guy. In. Because I did go in to, to try to remove the shit, but I had a goal bet still alive to easily bring in on him and then click Toxic from there, for example. I shouldn't have gone straight into Hydreigon. I was just excited with getting off damage with Hydreigon. He, had, he did have the Porygon though, but the Porygon was poisoned. Yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and I hope to see you guys next time. Peace out.